They're so tight you might even be able to see what you had for your dinner last night bunching up around my crotch area. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. A different setup means a different type of video today. We are going to be testing out different activewear brands which have a very different price point. So I have an example of high end, high street and also a very low end leggings. If you guys don't know, you're about to know, I have been going to the gym on an amateur level for like a year and a half or so now some months more consistently than others but that's not what we're talking about in this video today i would say i trained on average like three to four times a week up until really really recently where i got poorly no i didn't get the dreaded rona but i did start to get pneumonia so i was signed off work in that time all i did was be bed bound watch netflix and scroll my instagram explore which is where the idea for this video came from i was seeing a lot of content from my favorite fitness influencers grace beverly is my absolute booty queen megan grubb is a very very, very close second on that one as well. Both of these influencers I've been following for an incredibly long time and taking inspiration from their workouts to use in my own. But one of the main things that I was seeing with both of these influencers was that they were both sporting the same very expensive brand of leggings. Now, just a disclaimer before we get any further into this video, I wanted to say that no amount of money that you spend on leggings or any type of leggings that you buy are gonna make you look like your favorite influencer. Yes, sometimes leggings can kind of enhance what you already have but they will never just automatically give you a completely different physique. I do not begrudge any of these influencers the bodies and physiques that they have because I know that they would have been working on those for absolutely years. There was a lot of time, effort, dieting, training that goes into getting those types of physiques. If that's what you are after, you need to know that you've got to put in the work to get to where they are. I'm not saying that you'll never end up looking like them, I'm just saying that it's not gonna happen overnight and you need to realize that before you decide that you're just gonna spend out on loads and loads of leggings just because they're wearing them. I have an array of activewear in my wardrobe, but I've never really sat down and thought about what I do and what I don't like about certain pairs that I have. I've also never tested my leggings to see whether or not they're squat proof. Honestly, I'm the type of gal that goes into the gym and either squats against a wall or like in the corner of the gym or just in a completely separate room because I do not have the confidence to squat on the squat rack in the middle of the gym. But in this video today, that's all gonna change. I am gonna be squat proofing all of these pairs of leggings that I'm showing you. I never thought I would be saying that I'm going to squat on camera for all of the internet to see but here we are. Today is the day and I'm also wearing the darkest pair of no VPL pants that I could find just to make sure it's a definite yes or no as to whether or not we can actually see through the leggings. The first pair of leggings that I have to show to you today we're going to start low end and go up. They're not even like a real brand. I don't want to say that they are because if you haven't seen the video I a couple of months no it was about a year ago I I was scammed by a fake Gymshark website. I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous and you're probably thinking, what a stupid thing. How on earth did you let that happen? Well, I'd never ordered Gymshark before. That was my, well, I thought that was my first time. If you haven't seen the video, I'll link it above. It's just so stupid, the story. And I picked up a pair of leggings from there. I couldn't tell you how much I paid for them. The website didn't even issue me with a proper receipt. Like that's how fake ass and janky it was. <laughs> I'm gonna guesstimate that they probably retailed for roughly between like 10 to 20 pounds maybe. I know that one of my friends I used to train with at the gym said that she bought fake Gymshark off Amazon. She did know that she was buying fake on that occasion, but she just wanted to see what they were like. So that's what we're going to base the pricing off. This is what they're looking like. So first off, they are super heavy. I know that sounds really weird for a pair of leggings, but they are quite weighty. The material is very thick. It's like almost they're doubled up. This is a size small. You can tell that they're fake because look at that. That's not, I mean, the Gymshot logo looks really, really real, but just the inside where the label is, is definitely not. Sizing wise, not good. Like I said, these are a small. Normally in Gymshark, I would wear small to extra small depending on the fit of the leggings. It's so funny because the waistband literally was gaping at the front and at the back, but then it fit really good in some places like around my bottom and around my legs. It was a nice size. However, around my ankles, it was like flapping in the wind because there was so much excess material. Also as well, there was so much material like bunching up around my crotch area. It was giving me a camel toe that I definitely don't have. The only good thing about these leggings, like I said, were that they were super cheap. So if you're not sure that you wanna actually start going to the gym, but you need something to wear whilst you're trying it out, maybe go for something like this. And also they are completely squat proof because the material is so 
thick. So next up, we have a pair of real Gymshock leggings to compare to the others. These are the Gymshock Dreamy Leggings in khaki. As you can see, they just look so much nicer, more high quality than the other pair, and they're also half the weight, if I must add. I wear a size extra small in this pair of leggings. As you can see, the label is very different to the last one that I showed you. The material, I don't know how to describe it. It's so nice, but it kind of just feels like a soft felt if anything. The same felt is on the inside of the waistband, I guess, just to kind of help hold them up. But then there is a more breathable material on the inside of the legs. They fit really nicely all over, like there's no random places where they're super baggy or anything. Obviously, I am quite short in the leg, as I've mentioned, so I do roll up the leggings, which I do with all of my trousers anyway. These leggings retail for £35 full price. I know that Gymshark do randomly have like sales and stuff, so if you were looking to get some, you could potentially pick them up there. Gymshark Shock is becoming such a popular activewear brand in the fitness world like it was kind of a little bit taboo at the start I think just from the way that people used to speak about it. I also wouldn't be opposed to wearing these like day to day I know that sometimes I have worn like my black pair of I think they're called the captive leggings out before just when I've been you know running errands and things like that because they are really nice really high quality also as well these leggings did pass the squat test it was so much easier to move in these leggings compared to the other pair and also guys quick note it has pockets isn't that so great there's so many times when I've been in the gym I'm like oh where am I going to put my locker key or where am I going to put my phone I don't want to put it on the ground and you never know one day you might put your phone on the ground be lifting some weight, see someone that's really hot and literally drop your weight onto your phone and that's your phone gone us. Now last, but certainly not least, the pair of leggings that inspired this entire video. It's the Lulu Lemon Align Pants. If you're into fitness and you have not seen these, where have you been? Like, I don't understand. These are the leggings that all of the influencers are wearing. The first thing I wanna point out before anybody gets any ideas, these leggings retail for £88 per pair. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And I actually ended up buying two pairs of leggings because I couldn't decide on what colour I wanted. And my bank account now actually hates me. That's so much for a pair of leggings. I was like, oh my god, do they do your washing for you and like drive you to work and do backflips and stuff? Like, why are they £88? But now that I have them in my hands, I totally see why. These are so light. Like compared to the Gymshark leggings, they're so much more weighty than the Lululemon Align pants. Also the material as well is unbelievable. Like they just feel soft, they feel buttery, they're super stretchy. It's kind of like having a second skin on in a way. I have got a size four in this pair of leggings and they fit like a glove. Like they fit around my waist, they fit around my bottom, they fit on my legs as well, they're not too long. Also as well, they have like a super secret pocket in there, but because these are so tight, I don't actually think I would ever use it. Like a locker, for example, you could potentially slide that in there, but I genuinely think you'd see the entire key like stuffed into your leggings. So wouldn't use the pocket. Like I said, nice to know that it's there just in case if you did want to. Another thing to know is if you are gonna try these leggings out, make sure you definitely wear no VPLs because otherwise you are definitely going to be VPing because they are so tight and they show everything. They're so tight you might even be able to see what you had for your dinner last night like <laughs> it's crazy. Also as well with the squat test I'm a little bit undecided about whether or not the Lulu Lemon Lime Pants actually passed or failed. I know that sounds really bizarre like I wore dark underwear just to make sure I could definitely see but I couldn't directly see my underwear through the leggings. However, I most definitely could see the label. I was wondering whether or not it's because these are quite a light color of legging. Either way, because I could see the label through this pair of leggings in particular, I'm gonna stamp them as not completely squat proof, but that doesn't mean that other pairs which are different colors aren't. But honestly, I loved these so much and they fitted so well and felt so nice that I didn't wanna take them off. So I'm still gonna wear them. I'm just gonna carry on squatting in the corners. So that is it for this week's video comparing different brands of activewear leggings with very different price points if you enjoyed it please make sure you give it a big thumbs up so i know and i will also leave links to all of the leggings that i've shown you in this video today apart from the first pair because they're not a real brand
And if you haven't already, please make sure you go over and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram because let's face it, what else are we going to do in quarantine other than watch YouTube videos and scroll Insta? Thank you again so much for spending your time with me this week and please remember to social distance, sanitise and wash your hands regularly, stay home but most importantly, stay safe.